Now we see surface tension and surface energy. We have studied in last video surface tension on the basis of molecular theory in detail. So first is surface tension. Surface tension we know that if we have taken a free liquid surface in a, any vessel or container then that free liquid surface having surface tension there is a surface tension on the surface of liquid this surface tension is due to the force so how it create on the surface of liquid we see suppose uh, we have taken a ring we have taken a ring suppose this is the ring in this ring we have tied a thread AB and now this ring is dipped in soap solution when this ring is dipped in soap solution a soap film is formed a soap film is formed so this is the soap film soap film soap film is formed as shown in figure now suppose we have now the forces acting on thread AB on both sides equal and opposite forces on thread AB on both sides in this film now suppose we have break this side of so film then the thread takes the shape like this we have break the soap film in left side we have break this soap film so that this thread takes the shape as shown in figure B figure A suppose figure B so in this figure this thread becomes curved why? because why? because a force acting on the thread F along this direction F along this direction on the thread that's why this thread takes shape like this curve now suppose <coughs> suppose third figure in this third figure we have again here again we have break the film we have break this soap film right so film we have break this so film suppose we have break the so film along the right side then again this thread takes the shape like this means becomes curve it again becomes a curve and a force acting on the thread along this direction that is F so from figure B and figure C it is clear that there is a force on the thread means on either side there is a force on the thread and which is equal and opposite along this side F along this side F equal and opposite forces that's why in this figure A the thread remains as it is but in this figure the thread takes the shape like this means curve it is also curve so the force along this direction in this figure and here force along this direction in this figure see it means that from this diagram or this explanation it is clear that there is a force 
acting on the thread on both side and which is equal and opposite which is equal and opposite so that suppose we have taken a, this is clear that there is a force now we have taken the next figure we have taken the next figure suppose uh, we have taken next figure suppose we have taken a figure like this suppose this is the free liquid surface in this free liquid surface we have drawn a line and in this this is an imaginary line we have drawn an imaginary line in the free liquid surface then these are the forces acting on this line f and f so that we can explain the surface tension now we can see surface tension what is surface tension definition we can see the definition of surface tension so we have already studied three figures and this is another figure all these figures show that in free liquid surface there is always a surface tension due to force so these forces acting on this line this is a line we have drawn this line suppose pq on this line the forces acting on this line at right angles this is the right angle therefore we can define the surface tension it is defined as it is defined as the tangential the tangential force acting acting at right angles acting at right angles on an imaginary line drawn in the free liquid surface free liquid surface is called as surface tension what is surface tension it is defined as the tangential force acting at right angles on an image line drawn in the free liquid surface that is surface tension so in this figure we see here a line pq is a line on this line the force is acting at right angles so the tangential force acting at right angles on an image line drawn in the free liquid surface is called as surface tension this is clear about surface tension we have already clear in initial three figures there is a force on that thread and this force acts right angles to the imaginary line that's why a tangential force acting at right angles to an imaginary line drawn in the free liquid surface is called as surface tension so next uh, now surface tension p equal to f by l f by l therefore its unit is newton per meter this is the unit this is the formula t equal to f by l or equal to newton per meter that is unit unit of surface tension so this is about total about surface tension clear this is surface tension now we see next Uh, that is surface energy it is also very very interesting and we know that we know that if we have uh, taken surface energy we see the surface energy we have taken a beaker or a vessel we have taken a vessel or container and in this container in this container uh, free liquid surface and and this is the liquid suppose to be water water yeah this is air 
Now we have considered three molecules as shown in figure. We know very well. We have already studied this figure. These are this is the molecule A, molecule B. molecule B and molecule C C molecule C this is molecule C see here molecule A completely inside the liquid so resultant cohesive forces acting on molecule A zero the net resultant force acting on molecule a is zero that's why molecule remains is at its but if we have consider molecule b in molecule b a small part in air and large part in liquid so that again we have already studied this figure the net resultant force acting in downward direction on the molecule b and suppose we have now consider molecule C. Molecule C exactly half part in air and exactly half part in liquid. So again, the net resultant force act in downward direction because in liquid force is greater than the air. We know very well in solids, intermolecular forces are very strong. In liquid, intermolecular forces are weak. And gases, intermolecular forces are very, very weak. So that the net resultant force acting in downward direction and this is so film. Suppose this is the so film. This is the so film. So it means that there is a force acting on molecule B and C in downward direction so that those molecules are lies in so, so, so film, so film or sorry film, surface of film or film in this film surface film then that molecules are always under the action of force now suppose we have tried to bring this molecule A in this surface film what happens definitely this molecule when bring in this film surface film an inert force acting in downward direction so that there must be work done when this molecule bring in this surface field and this work is stored in the form of energy that is called as potential energy and ultimately that is also called as surface energy so that those molecules in the surface film that molecule having greater potential that greater energy greater potential energy those molecules inside the liquid completely inside the liquid what is the potential energy of the molecules in the surface field is greater than the molecules lies in completely inside the liquid so that this extra energy is called as surface energy that is called as surface energy therefore Surface energy, definition of surface energy. Surface energy. Surface energy means the potential energy, the potential energy per unit area, per unit area of a liquid surface the potential energy per unit area of a liquid surface is called as surface energy this is called as surface energy surface energy <coughs> So this is total about surface tension and surface energy. Okay.